Hi, and welcome to the top 20 trending lip treatments voting poll. Um, again, if you're new here, the results come from my Instagram page where I run like a story sequence and everybody just throws up the product that they are using in the moment. So the goal here is maybe not to try to find the best necessarily, but just whatever people are currently using. Often the best is what people are currently using. So just keep that in mind. But because this is a top 20 and we normally do just a top 10, I won't really offer my own opinions very much. I'll just throw my favorites at the end. So right now we'll just get straight into the list from number 20 all the way to number one. And let me know in the comments if you've tried any of them, how many of these you've tried, because I know lip products are very popular. Um, yeah, so I'll get straight into the list. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I, I forget to say that and I feel like I should. <laughs> Starting off with number 20 is the Clarins Lip Comfort Oil. Some of these products come in various like flavors or colors. So I've just grouped the voting all together if specifics were specified. Number 19 is the Naturium Phyto Glow Lip Mask. Number 18 is the Rode Peptide Lip Treatment. Number 17 is the Toridin Solid in Ceramide Lip Essence. Number 16 is the Revision Youthful Lip Replenisher. Number 15 is the Dermal Therapy Overnight Lip Repair. Number 14 is the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Lip. Number 13 is the Dermal Therapy Just Original Lip Balm. Number 12 is GlossierBalm.com. Number 11 is the Naturium Phytoglow Lip Balm. Number 10 is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter. Number 9 is the Tatcha Kiss You Lip Mask, Lip Jelly, or whatever they want to call it. Number number eight is the Ordinary Squalane and Amino Acids Lip Balm. Number seven is the Lanolips 101 Ointment. Number six is the Make Beauty Lip Reset. Number five is the Laneige Sleeping Mask. That's the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Number four is the Ulla Henriksen Pout Preserve. Number three is good old Aqua 4. Number two is Experiment Software. This one in particular, I'm dying to try. And number one is sort of the queen of skincare, Vaseline. So I mentioned in my Instagram post that I think it's pretty cool that Vaseline is still ruling the charts in 2024. So um, ultimately it probably is one of the better lip treatments um, and just a good fallback if you feel like nothing else is working. In terms of the products that have worked the best for me, I really love, love the Make Beauty Lip Reset, especially their Solar Citron, which has um, a bit of a pina colada a sort of scent to it. I also think the Tatcha Kiss You Jelly Mask is really amazing and the way it feels and actually moisturizes, it actually properly works. And for a bit of a lighter approach, I've actually been enjoying the Ordinary Lip Balm quite a lot. I tend to use that one a bit more during the day, but that has a great like hydrating effect, so I love it a lot. <laughs> some of the standouts here I haven't tried, like some cult favorites like the Glossier have, I've never used, so I would love some feedback if you've tried anything, if you're like a diehard fan, if even if you hate something, let me know in the comments. So I think that was a pretty quick video, but I'll wrap it up here. No point in blabbing and I will see you next time.